How's it going guys and welcome back. In this video, we're going to be checking out how we can unlock the Snowshare Master Rank armor set in Monster Hunter Rise Sunbreak DLC. Let's quickly check out the skills on this awesome looking armor set. We have Grinder S level 2, Stamina Thief level 3, Attack Boost level 7, Tremor Resistance level 3, Recovery Speed level 3, and Latent Power level 3. Before we jump into the stats and skills of each individual piece, let's check out how we actually unlock the ability to craft or forge this snowshear armor. To unlock the ability to forge this armor, we need to first obtain a material called Grooved Bones. Now there's only one way to obtain Grooved Bones in this game, and that is going to be by using the Meowcenaries. What we need to do is send the Meowcenaries out to the Citadel when there is a sparkly node. Any of these sparkly nodes here on the bones has a chance of bringing back a grooved bone when they return. To be able to send the Meowcenaries off to the Citadel, you do first need to be Master Rank 4 in the Sunbreak DLC. Once you have at least one grooved bone to your name, you should have the option to forge the Snowshear armor set here at the Blacksmith. Let's quickly check out how to get each of the materials needed for each of the pieces of this armor set, as well as quickly checking out the skills and the stats of each of them. First of all, the Snowshear headgear, we can see it has 112 defense, as well as a level 2 decoration slot. As far as skills go, it has Grind S level 1, Stamina Thief level 1, and Attack Boost level 2. The materials needed are Grooved Bones, which we just explained how to obtain those by sending off the Meowcenaries into the Sparkly Nodes in the Citadel. Obviously, we don't need to go over the monster obtained materials, as they're quite self-explanatory. Simply do hunts based on that particular monster. Of course, keep into account that most of these materials needed for the Master Rank armors are actually only obtainable from Master Rank quests. Therefore, make sure that you are actually farming these monsters on the Master Rank quest, and not just on High Rank quest, as you won't obtain the same materials. As for the Elder Light Ore, it can actually be obtained in any of the regions by simply gathering at any of the mining locations, but it does have to be on a Master Rank expedition. You can go to any region as long as it's on Master Rank. Next up, we have the Snowshear Mail, which is 112 defense. It has a level 4 decoration slot, as well as another level 1 decoration slot. For its skills, it has Tremor Resistance, level 1, Stamina Thief, level 1, and Attack Boost, level 1. The only new material here we need to go over is the Centuria Ore, which can actually be mined from any of the locations inside the Citadel, as long as it is a Master Rank Expedition. For the Snowshear Braces, we have 112 defense and 3 level 1 decoration slots. For its skills, we have a level 3 recovery speed, level 2 latent power, and a level 1 in attack boost. Here again, we need Elder Light Ore, which we already went over, and in case you're wondering about the Aurora Canth Ice Cortex, it's actually obtained by the Aurora Somnicanth, as long as it's on a Master Rank quest. Snowshear Coil, again, of course, 112 defense, a level 3 decoration slot, and for the skills, it has Tremor Resistance level 2, Stamina Thief level 1, Attack Boost level 1. No new materials here, more Groove Bones and Centuria Ore, which we've already gone over. And finally, for the legs, again, 112 defense, a Decoration level 2 slot. And for the skills, we have Grind S level 1, Latent Power level 1, and Attack Boost level 2. As for the Meld Spa, all material can be mined in the Citadel, again, of course, on a Master Rank Expedition. So that is it guys, that is how to unlock and craft the Snowshear armor set in Monster Hunter Rise Sunbreak. I hope you did find this video helpful, if you did, don't forget to thumbs up button, subscribe for more content coming very soon, and we'll see you next time.